Did you have a good day today? I did. I did. You had a good day today? <laughs> I had a good day today. <laughs> you did? Yeah. I yeah. Heard, I heard Bash doesn't like the train though. He doesn't want to ever do a train again. Never again. <laughs> I do want it again. Bash liked the train. I like the train. <laughs> I like the train now. You like the train? <laughs> Griffin, you have such a cool little bed on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Griffin's a little bit sick. 
Every word is both sick. Yeah, how many of you are there? You're the only one who's sick. Well, Mama was sick earlier. <laughs> Daddy is sick. Daddy is sick. Daddy, what's up, Jenna? Daddy, 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 Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. Yeah. No, just Griffin and Mama. Daddy was not sick. Mom, Daddy, I'm not here. Okay, Dash, get in bed. Okay, Griffin, ah. Uh. Are the gummies all gone? Ah. Uh. Okay, Dash, ah. Uh. Good job. Okay, get under the bed. Under the bed. Under the covers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get no. Under the bed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that. Shut the light off. Okay. Ready to begin? Okay. Ready to shut? Okay. Okay, thank you. And we'll do one uh, fruit to fresco. This is how we roll. <laughs> okay, this is the line to get into the basilica, or even just into. This one's legs gave out, so we just carry him like the uh, freeloader that he is. <laughs> Look at his smile. <laughs> Good job. Okay, Jared wanted to try McDonald's in Italy to see how Europe McDonald's is. They don't have the dollar menu, they have the Euro saver. Chicken burger and a McToast. What's a McToast? Did you figure it out? Oh, no straw. She did give me one, but. Oh, did you open it? Oh, okay. There you go. Look at that. Perfectly put together hamburger. Yeah. Bacon fries. Cheesy bacon fries. And then whatever this is.
looking. There's another earth. There's another earth. There's another earth. So many earths. Today is the last day of our trip, last day in Italy, last day in Rome. So sad. Um, we are going to see the Colosseum today. We did um, so much in the short time that we've been here. Uh, Colosseum was the last on our list. It was top of the list, first of the list, but we scheduled it purposely for today. I can't even begin to tell you how this makes 13 year old Sarah feel that I am going to go see the Roman Colosseum in Italy because uh, you're 30. Yeah, I'm 31 actually now, but flip those numbers. 13 year old Sarah was obsessed with Roman history and all, all the gladiator things and the Colosseum and all the things, all the things, Rome in general. And this is just like blowing my mind. I've actually seen glimpses of it already just driving through town, but we're going to go see it. So I am beyond excited. <laughs> what did you find, Bash? I found the Colosseum and the temple. You found the Colosseum. Here's the Colosseum, Mom. Okay, today's history lesson. <gasps> Good job! That is the Colosseum. where the market was this morning. They tear it down in the evening and then it becomes like a hub in the evening. It's got live music and other vendors selling little toys and stuff. Uh, but in the morning, it's just full of produce and clothing and souvenirs and all the things. It's, it's really cool. And they tear it down in the evening. We are out looking for a last meal here in Italy. Tomorrow we will get up at like 3 a.m. Catch an Uber, 
go to the airport, head home. Probably won't have time for food until after we get to the airport. Beautiful building over here. No cars. Meow. Meow. Fancy. I am really sad about our trip coming to an end, but it is time to get home. I am going to miss the food here in Europe. I could eat all the bread and pasta nice. and coffee that I wanted and not worry about a stomach ache. It was, it was legit. Like, it felt like such a gift. It was amazing. This was definitely the trip of a lifetime, being able to take our sons all the way over to Europe on a cruise ship, four different countries when they are only five and three. I, I can't think of anything I would rather spend my time and money on. This whole trip has been such a gift and I fully expect more adventures and exciting expeditions in our future. I told Jared that I wouldn't be mad if we accidentally missed our flight and somehow ended up in Switzerland, but you know, he thought it was time to go home, so. <laughs> We'll see on the flip side.